Hello, this is Brandon Haston with Pseudo Game Dev. This is part six, I believe. Yes, if I'm counting correctly, this is part six of our Let's Make a Game series of videos using Unity 4. In this video, I will be covering animated models and how to bring them into Unity and get them animated. Which, as is the trend in my past videos, has been extremely simple to do. So I'm going to hop over to Blender. I've already gone ahead and made a model. Um, it's a chest. And it is composed of three objects, two of which are meshes, and one of which is a constraint for a hinge joint. So the lid here will open and close along a joint or a hinge properly. And I have my body, which um, if I scoot that lid side has an interior. So let's go ahead and undo that. I don't have an animation yet. I did, but I figured it would be better to show how to make the animation real quick in this video. So let's go ahead and do that. I have an animation timeline down here. And it starts at frame 0 and ends at frame 30. I'm going to go ahead and insert a keyframe by being in my editor window here and pressing I on the keyboard to bring up this insert keyframe menu. I usually just use the location rotation scale keyframe because it just kind of covers everything. Um, But rotation is really all you, I'm going to need for this animation. Let's go ahead and use that one. And now I'm going to scoot over. Let's undo that real quick because I want to select my joint, even though it doesn't really matter, but I like to just keep it selected anyways. And then I'm going to scoot over to the last frame, frame 30, which is what I want my lid to be once the frame is at its end, or once the animation hits its end, this is where I want the lid to wind up being. So I'm going to put 90 degrees, which is rotating very strangely because enough, because um, I'm in a weird view. I'll be in my side view, rotate 90 degrees. And insert rotation keyframe, and now I should have an opening and closing lid. Beautiful. Now all I have to do is save this um, file, and it'll show up in Unity. I'm going to save it with the lid in its open position on this frame. If I can get. If I can figure out how to save, geez. <laughs> so when I go into Unity, you'll notice that I have my chest, and when I drag it into the scene, the lid is in its open state. So when you save um, your blend file, you want to keep your um, timeline on the on the very first opening frame, so it'll be brought in in its closed position. I'll set this to origin point and deselect my I want my fence post selected. I'll bring it into the world. The line's kind of funky. Um, let's change the normals. And it looks like the lid is a little off. I'm not. Sure, if it is. Anyways, we'll see. You you'll see that there's um a chest avatar, which is not what we're going to be using for this animation, and we have default take, which actually shows our keyframe animation brought into Unity. And you can see our chest open and closes properly. I'm not 100% sure why the origin is 
in this weird spot right here. But I'm not going to worry about that for now. Maybe another time. Where did my preview go? There we go. So now if I play um, the game, our chest doesn't actually do anything. It has an artifact here. It's really bothering me. I'm just, you know what, I'll just let it go for now. I'm not going to worry about it. <laughs> OCD kicking in, I know. Um, so let's select our chest. And the reason why our model isn't actually doing anything is if we go into our chest import settings here by clicking on our chest model in our models folder, we go to rig, it's set to generic for its animation type by default. Keyframe animations, for whatever reason, Unity considers legacy. So we're going to select legacy, apply it, and you'll see our chest avatar disappeared. And something else important has happened. The component has changed from animator to animation. So now we have our default take set as one of the animations it can do. And it's checked to play automatically. So if we play, our chest opens up and our chest is backwards. So let's select the chest and rotate it 180 degrees. So we play it, and there we go. Animated model, cool stuff. There's another option here in our animation component called Animate Physics, which is very cool and worth checking out. So let's click it. Nothing exciting is going to happen right now. That's OK. I'm going to go ahead and add a cube. Our cube has a box collider over it. And let's add some physics so it has gravity. And right now, nothing is going to happen except for the cube dropping through the chest because the model itself, the chest model, doesn't have any colliders to it. So in our chest, I'm going to select our lid and I'm going to use a mesh collider for the lid because it's got some slopes, which is sort of important. and play it and you'll see that the lid interacts with our cube that's very cool stuff you'll notice that the cube just kind of went through the chest of the or the body of the chest so we can fix that by selecting the cube and because i don't really care about the inside like the interior of the chest those faces that we have inside I'm just going to use a simple box collider, which will cover the whole, like the overall shape of the body. Play it. And now it interacts with our body and lid. Very, very cool stuff, I think. That's the end of this video. In our next video, I will be covering actually finally bringing a character into Unity. I'm going to make a character. I'm going to rig it with a skeletal system, and then I'm going to bring all that into Unity and use Unity's animation system to animate it. That's what we saw with the uh, um, avatar. That's what that's for, is taking those bones and animating our characters within Unity. Very cool, very powerful stuff. Anyways, that's the end of this video, and I'll see you next time.